Okay, I think we have some people starting to join us. We'll just wait a little bit while we get all settled in to this live stream here. I want to welcome everybody to the Sick Coalition's Kids Corner. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you're joining for the first time, the Sick Coalition's Kids Corner is a weekly virtual learning experience at the same time every Wednesday. So please make sure you add it to your calendars and join us every week. Thank you for the people in the comments letting us know that you are here and that you are watching and that we're going to have some fun today. I want to let you know that. We're going to explore some musical instruments and I'll play some songs and we'll talk about some different things, which is a wonderful opportunity for me to share that with you. So I figured we'll get started, since this is Kids Corner with Neelam Jeet. We could start with an activity, just a little clapping exercise. Maybe I'll clap something and you clap it back. So a little call and response. I think we can handle it. We'll start pretty easy. So I'll clap a rhythm and then you clap it. All you need is your hands or something to clap on. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Wow, that was fantastic. You can hear all those great rhythms. I think I'm going to have to make it a little bit harder. Let's try again. See if you can follow along with these rhythms. Here we go. Whoa, everybody's got these rhythms. You're such musical people. I think I'm gonna have to make it a little bit harder. Let's try these rhythms. Everybody's got these rhythms too. I'm gonna have to make it a little bit harder. Let's try if you can catch these. Here we go. Wow, such amazing rhythmic sensibility. I can't even believe it. I think I'm going to have to make things even a little bit harder. Let's try one more time. Maybe I'll bring in some new sounds. How about this? Even I can't do that one. It's way too hard. But congratulations to everyone. You all did such an amazing job. So I am here in sunny California today coming at you from Los Angeles. I would love to know where all of you are from. So if in the comments, I would love to see where people are joining from. And that way we can see where our community is. Where are all the people who are joining us this morning? Where are they from? What time is it there? It's 11 a.m., well, 11.04 now here. And let us know what time it is wherever you are in the world. It's so much fun. So I am a musician. I know you had a magician a couple of weeks ago who does magic, but I don't do magic. I play music. 
through different musical instruments. So I'm a professional musician and I'm originally from Vancouver, Canada. And I came down to Los Angeles a while ago to go to school. So I've gone to school for a very long time to study music. I've studied jazz music on the saxophone, which is an instrument we'll see a little bit later. I've studied Indian music, playing the tabla and other instruments. And then I've studied composition and performing. And I'm actually a doctor of music, if you can believe that. So I'm not a medical doctor. I can't help you if you get a cold or a cough or you break your arm. I can only play some music for you. So if you study something long enough, they say, oh, you become a doctor in that subject. You can be a doctor of philosophy or a doctor of music like me. So that is really fun. And I have performed all over the world. I've had the opportunity to tour with a woman named Sanatham Kaur, and we've toured all over the world, bringing music to people all over Europe, America, South America, Canada. Oh, I had so much fun traveling and touring. Got to see so many different parts of the world. Estonia. I went to Tallinn, Estonia. I never thought I would, I didn't even know there was a country named Estonia, but I got to go there. I've composed and performed music for Disney, done lots of things in their live parks in Orlando and written music for shows. And right now there's a show on Disney Juniors called Mira, the Royal Detective. And I play music for that show. So in the songs, I get to play some tabla and some other instruments and I get to bring the sound of that show to life. So that's been really a lot of fun. I have my own album of my own music, which I have composed. So to be a composer means you make up the melodies. You can write them down or you can sing them or you record them. And I put an album out with my jazz quartet back in 2004 to mark the 100th anniversary of the Komagata Maru incident, which is something that happened in Canada. And that album is out there in the world on all streaming services, so you can check that out. But enough about me, let's get to some music. Ah, so some of the instruments that I play, they're all around the room here, so I'm gonna kind of pick them up and see what they are. And you can see what they are too. So one of the first musical instruments on the planet is the voice. All of you have that instrument. And now the second instrument might be your hands. But I think one of the earliest musical instruments actually was a type of flute. So people who lived near some groves, they would hear sounds when the wind would blow through. And then they figured out that, that the little insects were making holes in that material. And then it was creating sound when the wind would rush through there. Okay, so some of these instruments, they might look like this. So what do you think this is made out of? Why don't you put that in the comments below? What do you think this is and what is it made out of? So actually, I'll give you a little hint. It's a type of grass. I don't think you knew that. I didn't even know that. So it has some holes in it and so just like the wind would blow, I used my air from my lungs to make sound on this instrument. So if I put this part to my mouth, it makes a sound. Amazing, so much fun. And if you cover these holes with your fingers, you can get different notes. instruments are called the Bansuri. So the Bansuri is a bamboo flute from North India. And I just gave the answer away. It's made of bamboo. So bamboo is a type of grass. Now any instrument you see, they usually belong to a family of instruments. So some instruments are small, but you can have other instruments of the same family that are so big and they have a whole different sound. So bigger instruments generally have a lower sound. But look at the difference in size and the difference in tone. Now, I'm a little bit like Goldilocks. I don't like things that are too big or too small. 
maybe I'll pick something that's right in the middle. So I'm going to play this flute for you, this bansuri, and you can hear what it sounds like. So I just played in some style that is kind of like North Indian classical music, but all the notes are here. So I just lift up my fingers and I can get all the different notes. Maybe I can even play a song for you. Maybe some of you recognize that song. Here in North America, it's called the Itsy Bitsy Spider. In other parts, I know in England, it's called the Incy Wincy Spider. But no matter where it is, we all have heard this melody. And it's so much fun to be able to play it on the Bansuri. So getting all these different notes out of this instrument is really a lot of fun. And you can play just about any song that you want, provided you practice. Now, it's kind of tough to just pick up an instrument and play it. Usually we want to warm up and get comfortable on there. So I'm going to be diving around to a lot of different instruments today, but usually you want to take the time to warm up nicely on your instrument, whatever you are playing. So the Bansuri came to me actually a little bit later in my musical journey, but I started with some other instruments. And before the Bansuri, I actually played the instrument that is in this case. What could it be? Let's take a look. Whoa, there's a piece of red cloth in there. I don't know what that was. Actually, I know exactly what it is. So this is to clean the instrument. So anytime we play our instruments, we always have to clean them. So even though I'm gonna be putting my instruments down today, know that afterwards, I have to clean all of my instruments to get off any fingerprints that could tarnish them or any moisture that's in there. So always clean your instruments. So what is this? It's in three different parts. I don't have three different hands. So let's figure out how this goes together. So all these parts, it's kind of like a person. We have a body joint. We have a smaller joint. This is actually called a foot joint. The foot joint goes there right at the bottom. And we have this, which is the head joint. So we got the head joint. We're gonna make sure it's all lined up all properly. But this instrument, you might have guessed it, is a flute. This is a Western flute, a European flute, but it's the cousin of the Bansuri. Look at, oh, that was very careful of me. I gotta be more careful with my instruments. Look at the difference between these two instruments. So the Bansuri is made out of bamboo and the Western flute is made out of metal. Actually, this is a metal which is 70% copper and 30% zinc, which is called yellow brass, but it's not yellow in color because it's coated with silver. The silver plating gives it a mellow sound. So let's hear what this sounds like. Again, the same way I bring it to my mouth, I blow across the blowing hole, much in the way, I don't know if you've ever taken a bottle and you've blown across the top of it, you can get a sound. Same thing with a flute. So now instead of just holes on the instrument, we have keys, which help us play some of the notes that are in between. We can control them a little bit better. So let's hear the flute. We can play scales, we can play song, so many different things on the flute. Now one interesting thing about the flute is that the way I can get different notes, I can actually make rhythms just like we are clapping. How do you think I'm doing that? I 
I'm using my tongue in my mouth. Ta 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 ta. So using your tongue to start and stop the air helps you get some different notes. Now I'm going to play a little song that I learned the other day. I was thinking about what can I play? What can I learn to share with you today? And I'm going to play a song. See if you can guess what it is, if you know the name or where it's from. And it's a new song, so I hope I practiced it enough to be able to play it. But also I need to warm up just a little bit more. Okay, let's see. I think I'm ready. See if you can guess this song. Oh, I messed it up. I have to start again. Sometimes that happens in music. Okay, let's see. Second time. Here's the trick. Maybe I can do it this time. See, if you don't get it right, you just try again. I think I got most of the notes right, but there we have it. This is the theme song from the video game Super Mario Brothers. Maybe you've heard of it. All right, so this is the game made by Nintendo, and the person that composed this was a sound designer for that show or for that uh, video game, and that composer's name was Koji Kondo. So it's always nice to go into a song and say, well, who wrote that song? Where did it come from? All right, so I played the Itsy Bitsy Spider before. The composer of that song, actually, we don't know. It's a folk song. So folk songs are songs that are out there in the world, and we're not sure where they started. They're so old, and they've traveled far and wide that we forgot who originally made it. So whenever you can credit the composer for a song, you got to do it. All right, so interesting to see where these come from. All right, so there is the flute. And we're going to rush right along so we can see some more things. Now remember, I'm going to put that away later. Let's see what is inside of this case. What do we got? Whoa. Some people call it the licorice stick. What could it be? Do you know the name of the instrument? Can you put it in the comments? Now, just like the flute, this has many different parts. Let me see if I can remember how they all go together. So there's those parts. There's something over here. I think that goes maybe maybe over there. What's this? I think that fits right there. And it doesn't make any sound yet. So this instrument, you might have guessed it. That was the people there. It's called the clarinet. And the clarinet is kind of like the flute. You put your fingers and you blow somehow, but the way we make sound is not just with air, we have to use a reed. So a reed is a small piece of bamboo, again. And this goes on the mouthpiece. I had to moisten my reed, so the reed was actually in a little bit of water so I could keep it moist and it wouldn't dry out so I could play it. And we have this mouthpiece, we put the reed on there, and the reed vibrates against the mouthpiece, and we can make sound. Wow, ah! ah, amazing. And if I put that right in there, I can blow and get a sound. such a neat instrument. It has such a mellow sound in the lower register. 
You may know it by many different names. It could be the Alphabet Song, or Ba Ba Black Sheep, or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And this is another folk song that has come about, and people know this song. We don't know the original composer, although many classical composers, such as Mozart, wrote variations on this melody. They took it as inspiration, and they used it to write other music. So that's a little bit of the clarinet. The clarinet can play low. It can also play really high. There it is. So that's a little bit about the clarinet. And we're running out of time, so I really want to get on to the next instrument. So I'll put this away later, my clarinet. Let me put it here for safe keeping. Now another instrument that is like the clarinet, but not quite, is this instrument. What is this? Has anybody seen this? Heard of this before? Oh. Doesn't make any sound. So unlike a flute, it's more like the clarinet. And I have to use a mouthpiece and a reed. So the reed goes on the mouthpiece and away we go. We tighten the reed right on there, make sure it's adjusted properly to make sure it has the right height on the mouthpiece so it can give me the right sound. And the reed, again, what's it made out of? Bamboo. That's right. So sometimes you hear bamboo called cane, okay, cane reeds. By itself, it doesn't sound too wonderful, but as soon as we put it on the body of the instrument, we get... saxophones. This is an alto saxophone. Like I said, there's families of instruments. Here's a smaller one. This is called a soprano saxophone. We have this, the baby and maybe the older brother. And then we also have bigger saxophones. There's a tenor and there's a baritone. But here we have this. And we can use it to play melodies as well. Let's see if you can guess this song. Oh boy, my sign's falling. That's okay. There we go. Everything's fixed. Um, let's see, what song should I play? I think you might know this one. Maybe I'll play another little song for you. This is a jazz song written by a person called Charlie Parker who played a type of music called bebop. So much fun to say, bebop. And this is a song called Au Revoir. <laughs> fun. 
I've studied a lot of jazz in university and oh I love jazz it's America's contribution to the world all right we are nearing the end of our live stream love to hear from you and I love that you are participating in all the comments are amazing wow we have people from Canada from Surrey BC people from Chicago Daytona Beach Berkeley my goodness we're a worldwide community right here in this room okay I think before we go to the last instrument maybe we could take some questions I have my team of question givers because I can't read every single comments they're scrolling so fast but there's some questions here I think one of the questions is what is my favorite instrument my favorite instrument is actually the one that's coming next I'm gonna play it next it's coming it's a type of drum Ooh, maybe you might guess what it is try to guess what it could be okay seem to be having some technical issues but we're getting through it questions how can you get in touch with me I will let you know at the end so you got to stay tuned we have just a couple more minutes left another question who is my favorite jazz artist oh my favorite jazz artist is a saxophonist named John Coltrane he wrote some amazing music was such a dedicated musician and he used his music to tell stories about different things that happened to tell stories about what happened maybe in Montgomery Alabama during the Civil Rights era where four small girls were hurt in a bombing that took place and John Coltrane used his musical voice to tell stories about the world so that we could bring people together he is really an important musician and I hold him in very high high regard all right well I think we have time just for one more instrument and you've been guessing and you've been wondering what could it be some type of drum and here we go maybe you've seen this drum before maybe you haven't but this is the tabla from North India and it's a drum that I've been playing for a very long time this is the first instrument I ever learned how to play and now I can play a little bit for you so this instrument we use our fingers and we play notes and we use the note names and we say them like da da dedicated da da dedicated da 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 did you know the double could do that all these things I can say you can play them it's a language this is how we get some notes so let's do some singing with the oldest instrument on the world your voices what's a song that everybody can sing I think we can sing the alphabet song that's a great one thank everybody who's learning their alphabet I almost know all of my letters we're getting there pretty soon all right and I'm gonna leave out the last letter because some people call it Z and some people call it Z and you might have another word for it so let's sing that and let's see what it sounds like with the tabla all right you ready one two a one two three four a b c d sing some let's uh actually we've run just about out of time oh this was so much fun I really enjoyed sharing all these instruments with you 
we had the bonsuri, we had the flute and the clarinet and the saxophone and tabla. Oh, and I teach all of these instruments and more. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can send me an email at neelamjeet at gmail.com. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's neelamjeet music. Oh, this has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you to the Sick Coalition for having me be a part of this. I'm just going to put my instruments to the side here so nothing happens to them. Oh, wow. So thank you so much for joining Sick Coalition's at Kids Corner. And I hope you'll join us again at the same time, same place next Wednesday. All right, share this awesome opportunity with your friends and your classmates. And if you need a reminder for the session, check out the comment section for how you can sign up for a weekly reminder. All right, if you have any other questions, you can feel free to comment on them. Maybe we'll try to get back to you. Or again, you can message me, send me an email, neelamjeet at gmail.com, N-E-E-L-A-M-J-I-T. I am here for you and your musical needs. I would love to help you on your musical journey because music has helped me so much in mine. All right, take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. All right, take care of one another. And hopefully we'll see you again sometime. Take care. Bye.